joys of the A12. Oh, we're moving now. <laughs> Been sat here for five minutes. <laughs> That's what the banging was. <laughs> uh, we need four, Tom. Yeah. Yeah, you going for a piss first, are you? Uh, I can do, yeah. Yeah. I worked here about a year ago, they were a good bunch of lads here, so they do look after you here. We've got, uh, I think there's a load of concrete blocks coming today as well, because we've nearly run out, but we've got enough to crack on today, but I think they are turning up today, so hopefully we can still get stuck in. I want to show you, a lot of people don't use profiles in footings, but I do, because, well I mean look, Tom's over there at the minute, I'm not going to gauge up, I've got two more profiles to put up and that's it, I'm ready to run in all day, I ain't got to fuck about with any corner building, apart from on the internals really. We're gonna go around and do one course around the whole outside, then set all the internal walls out everywhere so it's all done. And then what we'll do is we'll drop back and then complete each wall as we go. But these are great because these are top, these are called top uh, timber clamps. And it's one clamp. I've got these from BT Engineering. Great bit of kit. And then you've got a fits back line block that's, that the block pushes into that part there and it gives you a perfectly finished corner every time. Um, yeah, and I mean, it ain't gonna go nowhere because it's got the block laid flat there, blocks there and there. And that is a sturdy profile just to pull off on. Right, so as a lot of you asking what, what I use, right? This is a liquid chalk marker. Right, so anyway, I've got underside of beam here, there. Top of tape's always underside of beam. Just literally transfer, the engineers put these in by the way, I didn't. So you just literally transfer it over. And then you've got, and then you'll gauge appropriately up and down from here. So I ain't got my tape on there. But yeah, that, that's literally all you do, look. And then you'll go, what have you got from here to here? You've got bang on 600, lovely. Sound right. So then you'll, uh, that'll be two quarts of briquette. So 75, 150, 225, 3, 4, 375 down. From that mark, 375 down. Put this up to your mark, there, and then string a line on, eat up each time, away you go. But um, we've got two quarts of block and about five quarts of brick on the outside, about on here, but then two quarts of block on the inside and two quarts of briquette, which I think is probably one of the best type of footings you can do with two block on the inside and two briquettes, because it works really easily for your air vents and stuff like that. Right, we're just waiting for the muck to come over now. Lines are on. Just about made it round the whole plot with one set. These are the fixed brick line blocks, look. So what happens is, the block goes in here, or your brick, and it just pulls off just perfectly just through there. It just set a couple of mil back from the actual point of this. So it just, well, you'll see. I'll show you the finish when it's done, it's spot on. Yeah, we're all good to run in. Muck's coming over now, literally right now. So I've just whizzed round the outside, so I'm just going to set another set of lines up, corner blocks. Just do every wall going this way, and then every wall going this way. Right, so obviously we've gone round and got the first course 
set everywhere it is much easier to get it done and out of the way to start with because you can hook all your lines about everywhere it's just it's so much quicker so much easier then i'll just do the block work overhand and then we bring the boards and stands up close like this so everything is just literally there next in front of you rather than twisting this way for everything um to be fair they do their footings really well you can have it up on like here and stuff but it's just i find it much quicker much easier doing it like this i mean what's the time half 12 it's half 12 so we'll probably get this side done and the other side done and that'll be us for the day so anyway these bricks are absolutely lovely today. Oh look, I've got a seat while I record you. Got the muck down to a tee today. Much better than yesterday, shit. I was not impressed with that. set your brickwork out of the tape because you don't know what bricks are going to come up like. Square plot, ain't ya? Huh? Don't know. But yeah, anyway, we got what 450 blocks done? 450 blocks and 400 bricks. Not too bad. I reckon we weren't bad for a day. <laughs> weren't bad for a day's work. One bricky, two hog carriers. Well, actually, we class you as labourers because you ain't you ain't qualified as hog carriers yet. You're not qualified as a hog carrier yet. You ain't been doing it long enough. <laughs> Three years at least on the hod before you could be a hog carrier. It's a very qualified job, believe it or not. People don't actually understand how... <laughs> All right, see you later. Well done, good day's work, guys. Fucking money for today's gone on suspension. <laughs> oi, oi, look, and we're in the fucking motor for what? What? What time's that say there? Five to three. Mm. Time to be start. Half eight. Yeah. Got here late as well. Fucking traffic on the A12. Uh.